Hey guys, today we're taking these two fake graphics cards and we will see how to flash the proper bars back onto them. We checked out these cards in previous videos. Here we have the fake GDX 750 Ti. This turned out to be a GDX 550 Ti. And here we have the fake GDX 960 with fake 4 gig of memory, which turned out to be a GDX 450 Revision 2 with 1 gigabyte of memory. Now, flashing the BIOS is usually nothing special. You download the latest version of NV Flash, disable the video card in device manager, then you open a command prompt, enter a few uh, commands and off you go. But these eBay scammers, they made it so that NV Flash just doesn't work. Now, I've been using NV Flash since GeForce 2 days, so believe me, I tried everything, it just doesn't work. So you might wonder why even bother with flashing? Well, if we take the fake GDX 960, for example, it does fake four gig of video memory, but actually only has one gig on the card. So as soon as a game uses more than one gig of video memory, it will crash. So the fake GDX 750 Ti does much better and I wasn't able to make it crash at all. But for my Windows XP retro gaming, I do want to use uh, older GDX 550 Ti drivers and not having to muck around with uh, editing drivers and whatnot. Now before we begin, a big thank you to everyone giving me tips in the comments, especially at Neil. He gave us uh, specific eBay links to exactly the parts I needed to buy. And also a big shout out to Kat Say. He really came through. He's got some mad BIOS editing skills. And with the fake GX 960, he actually had to modify the BIOS in order to fix the card. Also, everything shown in this video is information provided as is. You should have some basic understanding of flashing a video card and there is risk involved. Worst case, you can brick your card. Back up the bars in GPU set before you do anything. The game running in the background is Race Driver Grid, running on our fixed fake GDX 960, which is a real GDS 450 revision 2. So in order to flash the bars on the video card, we will need a USB programmer. I bought them from an Australian eBay seller. I put the links down below in the description. You could just copy paste the description and have a look in your area. We also need an adapter. It plugs into the programmer on one end and has a clip on the other hand. Both of these items, they are quite cheap, but you still, well, you still gotta buy them. Next, you need to locate the actual BIOS chip. And for this, you got to remove the cooler. On the fake GDX 960, we have a PM25LD512. And on the fake GDX 750 Ti, it was a PM25 LD010. Place the clip onto the chip and we are good to go. The programmer has markings and there's a picture in the software that shows you how to orient the adapter. And on the BIOS chip itself, there's a little dot for pin one, line that up with the red wire. In the programmer software, we select the chip we are flashing, then we load the BIOS file and click on the program button. Now the fake GDX 750 Ti was the easiest to fix. We used the BIOS from an Asus GDX 550 Ti. It was actually the very first BIOS file I tried and it worked right away. The card is now a proper GDX 550 Ti. The drivers install without any modding, so that worked out great. Also, well, once you flash the Asus BIOS, NV Flash started to work. So after this point, you can really um, just flash any other BIOS you want to try out without having to remove the cooler and go through the hassle of using the USB Flash programmer. Now the GDX 960, that card put up much more of a fight. This card is actually the GDX 450 Revision 2, which uses the GPU from the GDX 550 Ti, but with a narrower memory interface. It only uses 128 bits instead of 192 that the GPU actually has. So it's a bit of a rare model. Now we got this card working in the end, but for anyone shopping around, try to avoid this model. So thanks again to Katsay, he got busy and modified the bias that the card came with. He fixed the fake memory and also the card uh, ID number. Now we had an additional issue with programming the bias, but I think the bias chip on my card was simply, simply uh, faulty, a bit flaky. It, 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 we got errors when trying to flash it. And my way around it was uh, flashing the original bias first and then flashing the modified bias on top of the original bias and that works now. The card now also identifies itself correctly and with one gig of RAM, so none of the games are crashing anymore. And that's really all you need to know to flash the bias on these fake video cards. Now, I'd love to hear from anyone giving this a go, 
but I'm also very interested to hear about all the different models of fake cards that are out there. So if you have one, uh, let us know. Um, if you can't remove the cooler and have a look what GPU it is, uh, please do so. Also count the memory chips and yeah, just share the information below so we can compare what's going on. I've also seen a few new models appear on eBay. Some of them actually appear to be legit. So I bought one, but that's something for a future video. But yeah, I'm really eager to hear from you guys um, how you're going with your fake cards. And remember, um, you can claim your money back through eBay and you've got another level of protection through PayPal. So if you got scammed, you know, um, just put in a claim and you should be able to get your money back. And that's really it for this video, guys. So thank you so much for watching and usual YouTube stuff. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more stuff like it, hit that subscribe button and give it a like or dislike. And otherwise, I shall see you soon with another one.